Right, back on. The camera's misting up a bit. It's very hot. There's the slag heap lumps up close. There looks like a pillar box over there. Could have been put there during the war, who knows? Or it might, might, might be some other feature. Now I know that uh, various different times I've been here, like I said, winter's best, I've weaved in and out of everything. Because um, there's too many thistles, singing nettles, and um, you can't see where holes are in the ground when it's this time of year. But it's nice to video it as well at this time of year. So here you've got the water lilies, look on a bit of a <sighs> polluted looking, eutrophied, I think they call it, when it's a bit um, soupy looking. There's a water lily, look, in all its glory. It's pretty, isn't it? I thought I saw more hen, isn't it? More hens scooting off, it's heard me. Yeah, it looks a bit eutrophied, doesn't it? That means it's um Right now, right over there, folks, there's a heron. A tall heron with a long neck, and he spotted me. He's a grand fellow, isn't he? Look how tall he is. Right, just got to t uh, turn off a minute and take a picture. Wait a minute. Do you know, I just turned off the camera then. And that huge heron or stalk, it was massive. Started making an awful screeching noise like, just like a, you imagine a dinosaur to make. And he flew off behind a tree. I'd only just turned the, the video off. I could have got that. His big wingspan. Well, he didn't look clumsy at all, but he's big. That is a full adult heron, I'd say, or equivalent. So at least I got caught him a bit. Yeah, so like I said, there's lots of different features here, all to do with the mining industry. I'm sure there used to be a plaque. I'm sure there used to be. I mean, there's probably another pond there, but I'm not going to venture into the undergrowth to see if I can see the heron again. Right then. I was just saying I missed the heron and then the battery went dead. Anyway, there's this very, very wild sort of nature trail that we're now on. The heron went in the field over there somewhere. So, like I said, I haven't done this for could be four or five years since I've done it. I don't know. But I know I've been here more than once and I started to ramble more in other areas once the stinging nettles had died down. And you could see where you were going. There are other paths. But I'll just do the outskirts today and I'll try and point things out. So, there are various ways you can go in and out of here. Yeah, I wanted to come over it. It fits in nicely, really, for anyone who wants to carry on following that walk. See, I mean, that was probably there before. Who's that to? Ken? What's that? Skajonamand, 1945 to 2004. He saw the world, lived life and loved the Mendips. So that's dedicated to him. Can't pronounce his name. It sounded um, sort of Norwegian or something. Like I said, I've explored quite a lot of the area. I don't know how much I'll get done today because I've got a deadline to leave. So I'll get back. Let's see, I'll see different. It just looks totally wild, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but everything is sort of, whereas it would have been lush, maybe even two weeks ago, very, very lush. Now the grasses are starting to die back, you see. Then it'll come sort of tidy again, once they've died down. Right, I'm not going to go, I'm not I'm going to keep on the main track today, rather than veer off. 
can keep on the main track. It's only a small track. It's designed for people with maybe a pushchair, maybe a small child could just about do this little walk, you see. And they feel they're in the jungle and, you know, it's, it's nice to take little children. Or someone who's very old and frail, they might just be able to do this. Right, I'm, what I'm going to do is some. Um, I'm going to just walk quietly, I think. That was on a bit of Zoom then, everyone. Apologies. I'm just going to stop and take a photo, folks, and come back on again in a minute. Looks to be like a bench down there. Yes, I expect this is quite busy in the summer holidays. Quite busy. Right, over and out for a minute, take some photos. Oh, again, just leave this little seating area there. I think there's quite a bit of ash trees in here. They seem to be holding on a bit in here. I think I've got a feeling there's another big wood that I followed a path. That one over there. But I can't remember anything about it but it would have been videoed everyone. And I would have gone down tracks like that for example on other videos you know four or five years ago. At least I would have thought. But I've got a feeling I've I've gone down through that wood, down to the bottom and back as well, just to see where it went. I think can't remember. <laughs> can't remember where it went. So this wood is a nature trail over the top of Velvet Bottom. Not far from the smelting tubes and the great big lumps of slag. And like I said, there will be features that aren't really visible. Um, but it's nice and, I'll tell you what, it's nice and cool in here. I've taken my hat and put it away for now. I've put my hat away for now. I think the other times I've come here, there's not been anyone there. <clears throat> There's a path going up there as well, look. See? Probably I'd have explored. If you can remember, I was younger and fitter. I'm a bit more... Derek, maybe. Did you? Maybe. Maybe you did. Mendip Hills Ranger. Oh, hi Derek. Imagine you sitting here having your lunch when you were working. Yeah. I always find a bit sad benches and that though, you know, in a way, because they do start to fade and rot and everything. I expect my sister Jude's been in here, by the way, because she used to, she knew Velvet Bottom when I spoke to her about it. I'm not deviating too much off the course because um, I 
I don't really want to get lost. <laughs> I feel like I'm lost already because I can't... I feel like I've been running in a circle, but I can't remember seeing that. Looks like a little pole here. Looks like there's a... When it was very busy and active, they had... Like they do in Longwood. See, there's um, number one there. Obviously a meeting place. I'd go back that way, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which way I go. Oh, that goes down there. Probably all the way down. Huh? That's so like a little shelter there, isn't it? A little shelter. This little big doggy. Hello. Hello, doggy woggies. You didn't see me, did you? Hey? Eh? You didn't see me. Hello. Hello, darlings. Hello. How are you doing? All right? Nice day for a walk. <laughs> right, just met a nice lady. She's with a walking stick and three dogs. But she was just telling me, if I went down right to the bottom to the gate, went through the stile and turned right, there's another track, like similar to this one, that leads you up over that way. <sighs> um, but I thought, no, I'm not going to do... She said, then you could walk right over to the hill and all that. And I thought, well, it might not be as far as she says, but... I thought, no, I won't, I won't um, overdo it, you know. It could be that it links up with a, a place I know where all the pot, where all the um, potholes are. Oh, there's somebody else now. Hello, doggy. Right. Uh, this is the area where the... Right, so in there we've got the um, tubes again. The other side of this fence right so we're now sort of we went in for the walk all round we've done it didn't take long at all did it um i do know there is another walk down there it just it's just reminded me when the woman was telling me um but i'm not doing that today because i'd have to come out even earlier to do that because basically it's quite a big hike i've done already and i've got to go back so i've done some of it folks but there is more there's always more. There's the aerials. There's always more, you see. You go through one gate, that style. Then there'll be another one. Now I'm just doing a little, just a little taster of the, what's around here. And, um, I mean, you know, I mean, ten years ago, even five years ago, what that woman told me, I thought, oh yeah, go and do that. But, um, I don't know if I've done it or not. Sometimes I can't remember what I've done. I've done so many walks, folks. Over the years, I've done so many walks. And I've probably even done that walk. You know, knowing me, I've probably already done it. <coughs> and done it in reverse. Aren't they pretty? Look. Right, I'm turning off again. Take a picture.